Hi everyone, welcome to Value. So today we're going to talk about Peter Lynch. This guy is still investing. If you don't know him, you should, you should. Literally, everyone should know Peter Lynch when it comes to investing. This guy uh, was just legendary in his time back, a uh, while back. Like, this guy ran a fund from 1977 to 1990, um, and he averaged 29% every year for, for those years. Um, if you can average that and you can compound that basically throughout that time, uh, those are massive returns. And basically during his uh, 13 years, he grew that fund from $18 million to $14 billion. So this guy is nothing uh, but legendary in terms of investing. And it's just really, really nice that, say, um, he left this game back in the 90s. Like, he left really, really early to focus on his family and just do what he loves. Um, but, and, yeah, he's still investing, though, uh, which is pretty cool because I have not heard much from Peter Lynch in a long, long time. So it's just really cool that um, he's actually investing in this company here, a very small company, um, about market valuation of $27 million dollars after rising 22% when people found out he was investing everyone's like we have to buy this company because this guy's investing it and he's a legend you know um so if i finish reading this article here that uh the former fidelity magellan fund manager revealed on wednesday he had taken a 5.2 percent stake in imac holdings uh, which is a provider of alternative medical treatments and that basically just caused the price to surge. Uh, so his value that he took in this company was $1.2 million. Now that's actually not that large of a shareholding for this guy because he has a net worth of hundreds of millions of dollars. So $1.2 million isn't in, in that sense really large for him. But if you actually know this guy's history, this guy invests in a lot of companies like... I think back when he was investing in his funds, he would actually buy as much as, you know, a couple of thousand stocks um, if, if he basically could. And he basically uh, did that, which is pretty amazing uh, because for him, he saw a lot of good companies during his time. Uh, but now he sees like with technology improving, finding the best opportunities are getting much harder. Um, so his theory, theory in any way is that he likes small caps because they are less well followed. So basically, um, if you, if the small companies don't actually have a lot of people looking at them, so hence why you can actually get really really good bargains as long as long as you wait for it, of course. And um, that's probably one lesson to take from this that it's sometimes the best value you can get in companies are the ones that are just much smaller and not on everyone's radar because that gives you an opportunity to buy in early and then when they do start to perform that's when everyone starts to take notice and that's when the uh, share price lifts off um but then again this guy's um philosophy is that he's in it for the long term uh we don't know about these days a lot of people these days aren't really in it in in it in the same kind of time frame everyone's all you know half a year a year maybe two years but you know when peter lynch gets into stuff he's in it for years um so that's um his kind of strategy around uh stocks anyway he, he also does believe in timing as well so don't uh get me wrong in terms of that he invests entirely for the long term like this guy is you know one of the most flexible type investors that are around you know he has many different strategies based on the different type of companies that they are um but yeah like um it's just i i'm i'm just doing this video full out because this guy um is that incredible when it comes to investing and just to see him pop up is kind of uh really really nice and you know uh you know i guess it's just like a good excuse to just uh talk about peter lynch uh, regardless of how good this company is which I'm sure isn't too bad because if this guy can look at it and go it's not a bad company and to sink a million dollars into it I'm sure he finds it uh, quite a good company so they just recently released their um, uh, financials in May the 14th so really not that long ago just uh, around a week ago so in terms of their performance their total revenue 
uh, for quarter one was $3.9 million, and that's compared to $3 million. So in that sense, really nice steady growth. That's a 28% growth rate, uh, which isn't which isn't like the best, but it's still um, pretty decent. Uh, as long as I can hold that, you know, that growth as well. Um, so yeah, like if we go 3.9 million and we kind of just like times it by four and we roughly get 15, 16 million, then this current market valuation isn't too expensive, uh, since it's not growing at a, at a really, really high rate. 28 is pretty decent, but not, we've seen much higher if you look at the industry. Um, if yeah, like 27 million is just more or less around two times the revenue base. Uh, so selling at two times revenue, that's not too bad. So definitely, definitely, definitely a stock that could uh, is worth considering. Um, for me personally, it's 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 an okay stock. It's like um, if you hold it long enough, uh, those rates do consistently compound, and it does end up actually being quite a decent stock. Um, so I definitely see this as being a good long term play, particularly in the area that they are in. Um, the patient visits, visits are up 3.7%, uh, and that's up 30 to 39,800. Um, so they have their own IMAT clinics, and people will just go visit them. Uh, they completed repayment of three loans of $4.34 million, and that was 95% of the company's debt. So you can only see that the company is really responsible. It pays back its debt, uh, or before you know, like uh, I guess it really needs to. So we're basically looking at a company that just has minimal debt as well now. So I think Peter Lynch also cited that that uh, companies shouldn't have too much debt on their uh, balance sheet. At least they should be able to pay it back within a few years. And this guy is on the money in that part. So we're we're watching a company that grows in a steady rate. Uh, it doesn't have too much debt, um, and it's basically it possibly is probably a company that he uses. Like in his books, uh, he's like, if you find a company that you basically use a lot or see a lot, then you should probably be investing in it because chances are it's going to do well. And given his age, like he probably does look at, he probably does visit these kind of places, kind of to look after his health. Um, so I guess for him, that's quite a possible area that he's actually, you know, he's investing in a place that he goes to a lot. Um, and at his age, which is he's about seventy year, seventy eight years old. So you know, you'd imagine he probably might be visiting these places. Uh, so yeah, so successfully completed their pilot pro program, the Backspace Retail um, Chiropractic con uh, Concept at uh, Walmart stores. So basically, uh, they own, I guess, uh, a retail, uh, chiropractic retail kind of store uh, in Walmart, um, and with commitments to triple its store count with at least 20 additional locations in Walmart over the next 12 months. So already that, that's already talking about really, really nice, steady growth coming into this company. So Peter Lynch definitely chooses them pretty well. Like I would say, um, this one's going to be growing very steadily, particularly with their deal with Walmart to just um, increase their stores uh, over time with twenty lo at least 20 locations in the next year. So um, already you can actually look at the stock and go, actually, it's actually worth buying, like... Um, Peter Lynch has definitely done his homework and this is the kind of like company that he chooses like it's good steady growth uh, low debt um, yeah so no I think um, he's definitely chosen well uh, is it the type of company that I normally go for like normally I prefer much higher growth um, because I like companies that grow um, at a very very quick rate uh, but usually they're quite expensive so um so that's the, probably the problem. But these days, you're actually getting really high growth companies that aren't that expensive. Um, so if you can find high growth companies selling at two to three times revenue, then those are really good companies to go for. Uh, which, um, in the coming videos, I will be talking about more of the growth companies that I will be I would be quite interested in uh, getting into. Um, but yeah, like you can definitely read more on iMac, like these guys basically just do, 
um yeah alternative type medicines um which they yeah they do quite a uh, if i go to the website um i think yeah they so they do like physical medicine which is um a bit like physical therapy and all those things um they also do medical treatments um so generally non-surgical options from proven viable sources i think they also do like scans and all that so they kind of offer something that's very um comprehensive so yeah was, yeah so overall it seems like it, it seems like a pretty decent company like um they seem like they cover quite a few things the clinics um yeah they they look like the revenues are growing well they're growing more they're actually increasing the amount of clinics um, particularly the chiropractor um retail store which is going on with the walmarts um so yeah definitely like it looks like a pretty good company like in, in the case that you wanted to research uh this company or to buy some shares in it um it doesn't look too bad good long-term play um i don't think it like does amazing things in a short term like it's going to go up steadily uh which is always good and you know i think the deal uh, depending on how the deal that w that they've signed with walmart works out but to increase by as much as over 20 stores in the next 12 months that's actually pretty good growth so it could be one of those companies that that either steadily grow or um they actually just end up surprising you by growing really quickly and their revenues jump and their stock price jumps up pretty quickly um but either way like it looks like a pretty steady safer uh well you know probably on a lower risk side of type of companies because in terms of medicine medicine tends to be one of those um kind of companies that doesn't really you know um have as much risk because of repeat customers and essential needs for for the type these type of kind of uh centers and the kind of treatments that they offer um yeah so overall i, I think the company is actually not bad like um it's good to know uh it's good to hear you know what peter lynch is picking lately he's picking these small companies that likely people still have to visit regardless because uh you can't really do this you can't really go online and just go like oh i need physical therapy you know you you still have to go to the store and um he's still identifying some really really good um type of companies don't we wish we could see his portfolio but we don't have that luxury i think these days he's just uh running a family office um but if you haven't read his books definitely go out there read his books uh this guy is amazing when it comes to investing um so for me that well, that's just a treat to see what he's investing in and then to just be able to research it and then kind of learn from that because i think you can also learn from uh you know these type of investors when you see what companies they're picking and why they're picking these companies that's that's the biggest learning curve that you can really pick up from these investors um it's just like warren buffett but for most cases warren buffett tends to be one of those investors that focuses more on the dividend side on the cash return side rather than the growth and tech side whereas peter lynch was such a flexible investor he didn't mind if it was a growth company or a blue chip company or um, any other type of company as long as it produced value this guy was in it and that's why i you know this is probably one of peter lynch is probably my favorite investor out of all investors hence why like i saw this and i was like i have to do a, a video on this one regardless of how good the company was but the company did turn out to be pretty good um so yep peter lynch did not disappoint um so definitely look into the company if you um, do like the company itself um until then um good luck investing everyone